I'm back with O's here, and, and uh, I've been schooled on how, how they can calculate uh, the punch wound size. They have artificial intelligence that uh, can look at a, a wound and it can tell us what the true punch size is. So uh, they've really taken it to another step in that regard as well. So this is where they generate the information to drive the artificial in intelligence. And, and so what does that basically mean? Um, the, the system is actually uh, doesn't understand the difference necessarily between one hair, two hairs, three hairs. So there's a degree of inaccuracy. So you can kind of correct me here in a second, um, Mose, but it, you know, by, by creating this, the, uh, this sort of uh, uh, checks and balances, by going in and looking at images, you're able to correct the system and make it much more precise. Yeah, actually at the start, <laughs> all the uh, AI algorithms require data. Many data actually. You need to have hundreds of thousands of data to have reliable results on these artificial intelligence algorithms. What we did here is to manually generate correct labels to learn our robot, Kiwat, to count follicles and the hairs in each follicle. And at the same time, we learn, uh, we teach our robot uh, to holes and the placed graphs. So after this learning phase, this took more than two years actually, uh, I sell actually labeled more than 500,000 samples and we actually increment these samples by using a technique called data augmentation. So we have in total two million sample. So our algorithm actually look two million follicles and learn the difference between one hair follicle, two hair follicle and three hair follicle. Right. So this is how we increment, how we improve our accuracy day by day. Right. Okay. So, uh, uh, so let's just reiterate that. Uh -huh. You, in this room, this young lady yeah. has looked at 500,000 follicles, follicular units yeah. Yeah. and determined how many hairs are in it. Yeah and you use an augmentation program yes. that, that improves that number, increases yeah, that number, that number. Yeah. artificially, so to speak, yeah. Yeah. to over two million. Samples, yeah. Yeah, and so that's how you're able to get a degree of accuracy today that's yeah. about 90 to 95%. Sure. Yeah. And that's better, you know, if I give a picture, if I gave this picture to 40 different doctors, uh -huh. I would get back 40 different answers sure. in exactly. terms of the number of flicker yes. units and the number of hairs. Yes, exactly. So uh, what you've done mm -hmm. uh, is to make something that is incredibly difficult, mm -hmm. uh, very simple mm -hmm. and, and very precise. Yeah, we, we, we try to standardize this thing because it differs, differs from one doctor to another mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So we, create, we try to create a standard for these uh, let's say classification or for this evaluation. Okay, so let, just start showing us how you yeah. determine how many follicles are in. So at the labeling phase, uh, I cell actually goes through all those samples. For example, uh, this sample yeah. has uh, four follic four hairs. Another follicle two. has two hairs. Three. One. Two. 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 Okay, and she's looking There's at more samples than you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's she's more educated than yeah, you and sure, I at counting sure. hairs. Yeah, you know. So you know, this sort of underscores what you've done with the system is you built through your electrical engineering yeah. and through your uh, imagery experience and through your uh, uh, all your experience in artificial intelligence. Uh -huh. You 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 took a, a robot. Mm -hmm. It was like a baby that had oh. never been to school. Yeah. And yeah. you gave it a PhD. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. Show us a so sample this is, you've this already is our counted. PhD's advisor. She's yeah. the advisor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's smarter than both of us. <laughs> um, and can, and that's how we do it. Yeah. Amazing. So this is how they, they sort of correct the computer uh, or correct the, the scanner to make the scanner more and more precise over time, over a two-year two period of time. Yeah. 
And I believe that um, there, and, you know, a number got thrown out of somewhere in the range of a half a million dollars has been invested in this technology. Yes, maybe and, more, more than, maybe more, more than, yeah. 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 It's a 2.5 years uh, development time, plenty of engineering uh, costs, plenty of equipment costs. So it took, I think, uh, more than half a million. Yeah, and so yeah. if you kind of think about that, who has funded this whole project is Dr. Erdogan, yeah. Yeah. out yeah. of his pocket. Yes. Yeah. So this guy, <laughs> this and, and he built it for himself to make his patients' results uh -huh. better. Yeah. And, and 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 you know one day in the near future it will be available to other doctors yes. probably. Yes. But he didn't do it with the intent to make money. Sure. He did it with the intent to 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 help his patients get the best possible results. Sure. So sure. He, you know this sort of scientific data doesn't exist anywhere else. It's, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Can she show us an example of uh, an image that she's already counted? So this this is a tricky one. You wouldn't know whether that's two flicker units or, or one really, but so uh -huh. they're so close. These, this one's real easy. They're so uh -huh. far apart. Uh -huh. But she's decided for for the for the yeah. robot. Yeah. Okay. This image size. What is the size of this image right here? It's uh, two point five centimeter by two centimeter. It's roughly four centimeters square. Roughly four centimeters yeah. square. Roughly. And four, you four, and you've four. gone through just literally over 500,000 images, yeah. amazing. Yeah.